Hello. We are broadcasted from in the basement at an undisclosed location. I asked a friend for something once and received no response in regards to my request. I saw that he read my request and yet there was no response. Of course, I thought naturally this was caused by a miscommunication. So I resent the request and again was met with crickets. This repeated itself a third and a fourth time, and even more silence ensued. Offended, I receded into my bruised feelings and never spoke on that matter again. To be honest, I never spoke to him again either, ever. Partly because I was hurt. I mean, I would have gave him a blood transfusion, and I couldn't even get a response the one time I asked him for anything. Now granted, I was never one to do something for someone just to lord it over them later on in life. Remember that time I did something for you? Now you owe me. That level of Machiavellian thinking I personally find to be disgusting. My bruised feelings were not why that friendship ended. This friendship ended because it was a one-sided relationship. And that simple request pulled a thread that completely unraveled that entire toxic dynamic. But I'm not here to regale you of tales of lost friendship and cry what was me. The reason I brought this to your attention is within that story arc, I noticed a pattern that would repeat itself many times over in other people. The inability for people to say two simple letters to friends, families, or even strangers. It is amongst the hardest, most stressful thing to say to anyone, especially those who you would like to stay in their good graces. My previous friend, who I no longer associate with, couldn't bring himself to say it either. Two letters. N. O. No. He couldn't say it. He couldn't say no. Instead, he dragged me along like a carrot on a stick in front of a mule, hoping to get this prize that I sought. Now, I'm not one to ask people for much of anything, and I hate to burden people at all if possible. However, if I received a no from him, I would have moved on and found another solution to that problem, and that one-sided friendship would have hobbled along. This is an excerpt that I found on the internet describing what I previously said. Quote, I happen to be this type who always finds it hard to turn down someone who asks for my help. You know, like when people ask to borrow some money, ask to take them to see a doctor, ask to help with English. Asked to teach them something difficult and anything. I don't think that the word kind or nice or selfish would be suitable for this. I can't figure out the right word to describe it. Do I comprehend this in a weird way? End of quote. End of excerpt. I have a word to describe you perfectly. Now brace yourself. Pushover. Patsy. Doormat. Wimp. Acquiescence, simp, obsequious, limp biscuit. There's no bottom of any rubbery boot that you wouldn't love to lick. Yes, that hurts, but perhaps that's how you feel afterwards about yourself when you deny your own true wants. Practice here with me. Can I borrow some money? No. Can you take my kid to school? No. Can you take me to the doctors? No. Do I look good in these pants? No. Do I look tall in these shoes? No. Is my hair growing back? No. Can you take my mother? No. Can you take me to the store? No. Can you drive me across town? No. Can you help me? No. Could you subscribe to my YouTube channel? No. Can you like this video? No. Can you help me in any way regarding this channel? No. Will you watch my cat and dog while I go on vacation? No. Will you have my back in this situation which is clearly wrong? No. Do you love me? No. Will you ever love me? No. Do you forgive me? No. Do you think? No. Can you tell me whatever I need to hear? No. Can you tell me the truth? No. Do you think that I'm right? No. Do you think that I'm wrong? No. Do you think that I'm stupid? No. No. Do you think that I'm bad? No. Do you think that I'm special? No. Do you think that I need help? No. Do you think that I'm good? No. Do you think I have a chance with him? No. Do you think I have a chance with her? No. Do I smell good? No. Do you like my mother? 
No. Do you like my father? No. Do you like my brother? No. Do you like my cousin? No. Do you like my kids? No. Do you like anything about me? No. Can we save this relationship? No. Can we save this marriage? No. Can we save our family? No. Do you think they're gonna beat the cancer doctor? No. Do you think that you know everything? No. Do you think that you came from the heavens? No. Do you think the world revolves around you? No. Did you look in the links to see my books? No. Did you go to check flowers and fruit out after all of the times that I recommended you do so? No. No. And no. And no. Now this video is not here to recommend you be a scumbag or a bowl of scum. Neither do I suggest you be a ladle of scum, nor a dollop of scum, not a table or even teaspoon of scum. I simply suggest you get comfortable with being a small sprinkle of scum from time to time. People don't like to be told no, and though they may love you regardless, in that moment you will be scum in their eyes. However, if you are agreeable and helpful in general, when you tell them no, you will only be a sprinkle of scum in their eyes. To maintain your own dignity and sanity and self-respect, that is a very small price to pay. Hello, this is K.M. Hemmings, obviously. You might have noticed a few words were out of place in this video. This was by design. Those of you who noticed, feel free to leave them in the comments section. This will be an ongoing feature of these videos going forward. Good day to you.